guys welcome back to my channel so today i decided that i wanted to do an eyeshadow tutorial for you guys and show you how exactly i do the eyeshadow looks that i put on my tiktoks but i have already done my eyebrows and if you want to know how i do my eyebrows i have posted an eyebrow tutorial video two videos back so check that out if you're interested i'll even leave a link in the description down below i'm gonna keep this intro short and we're just gonna hop right into it so I decided to bring you guys in for a close-up so that you can have an easier way to look at exactly what I'm doing. And I'm gonna do one eye at a time. Usually I do both eyes at the same time. So yeah, we're just gonna hop right in. So to prime my lids, I always go in with the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. And this is in the shade Tan Latte. I'm just gonna apply that on my eye. Just like that. And I always make sure i carve out my brows with that first so that i don't mess it up then i'm gonna go in with my sponge and just blend that out so i'm gonna take my james charles palette and i'm gonna go in with this shade which is skip and i'm gonna go in with my farah 22e shade and blend brush i'm just gonna grab the color and the technique is to pack and blend so first you want to pack it on like so and i'm like slowly diffusing the edges so that it doesn't come off as a harsh line and i make sure when i'm diffusing out the edges that i put the smallest amount of pressure on my brush just so i'm not overloading the rest of my eye area with the pink next i'm gonna take this brush i'm gonna go in with this lighter shade just pack it all over my brush and of course tap out the excess and then i'm gonna go over the rest of my eye where i diffused it so that it blends better like so when it's blended to my liking, I'm going to go back in with the first color, Skip, and blend everything together. Next, I want to deepen the color, so I'm going to take this color, which is the shade Love That, and I just use that to deepen up the crease area. So I'm just going to pack that on and blend it. This um, shade is kind of hard to work with because it's not really like powdery like all the other shades are so this one is kind of weird so you have to kind of work extra hard to pack this on but it should go on fine and then we're just gonna go back with no product whatever is left on this we're just gonna blend it back together and blend it make sure our edges are always diffused Once you are satisfied with the pink blend, you're gonna cut the crease. And to do that, go back with the e.l.f. concealer, and you're gonna take whatever brush you use to carve your eyebrows, and I'm just gonna take it on the brush. And the secret to cutting your crease, you wanna go slowly, okay? And then once you're satisfied with how high and how much product you have on your lid, then that's when you just want to go ahead and go fill in the rest of the cut crease. And when it comes to the end over here, you want to put just very light amount of product, not too much, because then it'll be hard to blend out. But you can just go like that to take away some of the product. But over here you just want to make sure that you don't have too much product set down once you're satisfied with your cut crease you can then go in with whatever shadow you want to put on the cut crease and today since we're doing a pink and gold look i'm gonna go in with my abh x norvina collection this is the volume one palette i'm gonna go in with this shade which is c2 and it's a gold 
I'm gonna go in with my Urban Decay Naked 3 brush and I'm gonna take this end. I packed the shadow on both sides and it is kind of crumbly so you do want to be careful with that. And then you just want to press it in so that you get the most pigmentation. And then you can use the other side to just swipe away any extra product because you don't want there to be too much and just kind of pat it back in. And then for the end, again, go in with skip, blend it out, make sure the two go into each other and give you a nice blend. And you can always go in and then put it over the pink to give you a better blend. So it doesn't look too different. And there's a lot of fallout on my face from the glitter, which is why I do my eyeshadow first and not my base. However, I'm going to go ahead and do my eye really quick and I will be right back. So after doing my other eye, I also went in with my base makeup because it is easier for me to put shadow on the bottom of my eyes after I've already done my base makeup. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go back in with the Firma 204 brush. I'm going to grab Skip and we're just going to put that on the bottom. You can like look up while doing this, whatever you need to do to get the shadow on the bottom and you put shadow on the bottom of your eyes so that it helps to make the color pop more and you can see on the top and the bottom of the lid so yeah do that for both eyes And if you even wanted, you can even put an eyeshadow on your waterline, but I don't really like doing that, so I just leave it at this. Next, we're just going to go in with mascara, and I'm using the Maybelline Last Sensational Luxious Full Fan Effect, and this is in the waterproof version. That's what the wand looks like. I'm just going to apply it on my lashes. Just a light coat to get rid of any shadow that might have stayed on the lashes next for my lashes i'm gonna go in with the miss racy's lashes i'm not sure if i'm saying that right but this is in the style morelia and these are so cute they are only about ten dollars and i also happen to have a discount code with them if you use the discount code esther you will get some money off I will also make sure that I leave that down in the description box below along with my discount code so that you can save money and also get a really cute pair of lashes. But yeah, these are my go-to. I really love these and I'm going to show you what they look. I'm going to pop them on real quick and I will be right back. So these are what the lashes look like and they are so gorgeous to me. I don't know how you guys might feel about them, but I really like them. And I just went ahead and just filled in the rest of my base makeup, you know, highlighter, blush, and contour, and all that stuff. And I also went in with my lipstick, and if you're curious, my lipstick is the Half Caked Super Glaze in the shade Slight Work. And it's so pretty, I really love this lipstick, I think this is one of my holy grails. But yeah, that is the final look for today. I hope you guys really enjoyed watching this video and learning how I do my cut crease and how I do my eyeshadow videos for my TikTok. I will leave that down in the description below, so make sure to follow that if you want. And I think that is all for today. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see future uploads and make sure you hit that notification bell so that you can get notified as soon as I upload. But yeah, I think that is all that I have to say today for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful day.